up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So I finally got my WC Lathe Works new piston knob in. Um, now, if you guys haven't, if you haven't seen a previous video, I actually ran a WC Lathe Works knob prior to getting this one. Uh, it was the Titan knob um, and it was an awesome, awesome knob. Uh, but I really wanted to try something else out. And um, this is one of them that I really wanted to try. Every single time I went to his website, I was always looking at the piston style. Uh, for some reason, this just really, uh, you know, caught my attention, just the look of it and everything. Um, but the main thing, the main one that he sells is the full titanium version of this. Uh, but after experiencing um, the the Titan knob, which was full all titanium, based, you know, all metal, uh, you know, I was able to, to feel a little bit of a difference in the, you know, with the temperature and everything between the hot and cold. Um, and you know, just for thinking about how hot it gets in the, in the summertime, uh, I really didn't want it to really, um, affect just getting in the car and just not wanting to touch it and everything. And I know it's, it only lasts a little while. It's not too long, but, um, you know, I was a really, really big fan of my Cobb Delrin shift knob because, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't temperature sensitive. Uh, so, you know, you can get in the car if it was negative 15 degrees or if it was 115 degrees, you know, it, it pretty much felt the same. Uh, and you can just get in and drive uh, with the uh, the full titanium knob that I had, the Titan version. Um, it was, you know, it was all metal. So it, it would get really, really hot and it would get really, really cold. Um, you know, you can call me a baby or a wimp or anything like that. But it just kind of took away from the overall enjoyment for me. It was really, really nice looking. Um, to me, it was more of a, a showpiece or something that c catches your attention as opposed as opposed to being something more functional. Um, so I wanted something that was actually going to function and, and perform the way I want it. Uh, not to say that the Titan knob is, is bad or anything like that. I absolutely loved it, but it just wasn't uh, what I was looking for. Another reason why I switched um, is uh, I got the, there's two different sizes. There's the 1.7 inch um, and then there's a two inch. I opted for the 1.7 thinking that was just a smaller version or around the same size as my uh, Cobb shift knob. Uh, but I was mistaken. It was actually smaller than the, uh, the Cobb one. Um, and it was, it was just too small in the hand. It just felt, it didn't feel natural. Uh, it felt like you're basically shifting on the actual shifter. Um, so it kind of just, I don't know, it lost my interest in it. So I decided to sell it off and pick up this one. This one is the, uh, the piston Helio. There's two versions of, there's actually a couple versions of this. There's the full piston, which is a full titanium or stainless or whatever, uh, brass or any type of metal that you want. You know, you can also get this full in, uh, uh, co-poly, um, or you can get it like this. There's actually two versions of this. Uh, I know there's so many different options, but, um, I'll go over them with you. Uh, I, originally when you go on the website, there's one called the piston hybrid, uh, which is, almost this, uh, but the piston hybrid is uh, co-poly, which is basically like a Delarin material. It's like a hard plastic, um, feels really nice. Um, and then it's stainless down here for the weight. Um, but uh, stainless doesn't burn as nice as titanium. You don't get those cool blue and purple and gold. Uh, stainless just, it, it basically just turns like a blue. Um, I mean, you can get a little bit of the rainbow effect, but not as vibrant as titanium. Um, so I, I hit up Chris and I was like, hey, you know, I really wanted the same kind of color pattern, um, you know, the same hues as my uh, Titan knob that, that you made me, uh, but I want this style. So he goes, oh, well, you're looking at, you want the Helio. So it's the Copoly top uh, with a titanium bottom. So it's a little bit lighter than the, um, uh, the hybrid, the piston hybrid, um, but it still has some nice weight to it. It actually reminds me uh, of the weight of the Cobb Delrin knob, which is perfect. It's actually probably a little bit heavier, which is nice. Um, and you know, you get, you get the, the great feature of, you know, not having it affected by the temperature here, uh, but you still get the nice titanium color at the bottom, which is also for weight as well. Um, and there's also a couple options I got on here. If you haven't, we're able to tell already. So if you look close, um, it has some notches here, which is standard, um, but you can get the knurled grip or just the three ring knurls. Um, so you can get one, two, three, just these, and the rest down here is smooth, where you can get the full thing knurled. Um, I decided to go for the full just because I feel like it, A, it looks better. Um, it just looks really nice. And B, uh, it has better, you know, it grips onto your hand a little bit better. So when you're shifting, you know, quickly and you just, I don't know, I found it to uh, be a lot more comfortable in my hand, uh, but it's really, really beautiful. I think it looks super nice. Um, so I'm glad I went with that, the full knurl. 
So as you can see, I went with uh, another option on here. I think this thing is fully loaded. <laughs> uh, I went with the shift pattern as well as the uh, STI logo here. I felt like it was a little bit more personable, a little bit more detailed, a little more catered toward the specific car it's going on. Um, but the cool thing is when you select the shift pattern and the logo, you can just get it all one color. But I talked to Chris, I was like, hey, uh, I really wanted uh, the logo or the shift pattern in white, but I really, I wanted the STI in red, mainly because the uh, OEM, there's an OEM knob out there that looks very similar to this, or at least that color combo or pattern. Um, so I wanted to do that, like it's like an OEM kind of plus, uh, you know, option. Um, so I'm able to get that with the, you know, comfortable co-poly uh, co uh, top here. That's gonna stay nice in all different types of temperature. Uh, and then I get the nice titanium at the bottom. So, and if it fits really nice in your hand, uh, you'll be able to grip it really well um, when you're go you know, going through the gears and everything. It's not gonna be awkward or, um, you know, the ball, the ball is nice, uh, but <clears throat> I don't know, like I said, I got the 1.7 inch, which is a little too small. I think the two inch is perfect. Um, so if, if, you, if you are going for a ball type shift knob, uh, make sure it's at least two inches. I don't like anything too bulky either. Um, but I, I don't know. I really, really, I think this is going to be it. The one that I'm uh, going to keep for a long time. Um, this is about, I, I don't know the exact weight of it, but it's probably around, uh, about 200 grams or so. Uh, the, the Cobb Delray knob is, is almost a hundred grams, which is very, very light. Uh, so this is probably up closer to 200 grams. The, uh, Titan knob, I believe that was around 290, 290 grams. Um, so this is kind of in between, uh, both of them, which is actually perfect. Um, so I, you know, I, I already threw it onto the car just to see how, uh, it felt on the shifter. And, um, I can honestly say this is probably the perfect weight. Uh, I wish I had a little scale to show you exactly what it is, uh, or the actual weight, but I don't. So I'm kind of just guessing here, uh, you know, I'm taking my best estimate based on, you know, the experience I had with other knobs and everything. Um, but either way, it has a really good weight to it. It's not too heavy. I don't like weighted knobs. Um, and it's, it's not too light. So it, you know, it feels quality and everything. Uh, it's about three inches. So it's actually much smaller in person than it actually looks in pictures. Um, so it fits your hand really well, as you can see, um, you know, you can grab it from the top and grab it from the side, but now with, I've realized, uh, with the Recaro seats, you know, my whole entire driving position has changed. So my arm is basically directly at the shifter as opposed to being on top. So now, you know, when I go to shift, I'm going to grab like that and pull as opposed to going on top. I mean, you can do that as well, but it's more comfortable shifting from here, you know, going that way. It's just more natural now that my driving position has changed. So this is going to be a great addition. It's going to make the whole entire driving experience that much better. Uh, and plus I haven't had a shift knob on my car for about four or five weeks. Uh, I have, thankfully I haven't driven it that much without it. Um, but when I have driven it, um, I, all I could, I couldn't wait to get a knob back on there. I didn't care what it was. Now that I have this beautiful piece of art to put on the car, it's just going to make it that much more fun. So, um, these also do come with a set screw in there. You can't really see it, but it's in there. Uh, Chris does include an Allen key. So you just stick it in there. Uh, and turn the set screw. Uh, the reason for that is so you can position the shift pattern so it's straight, uh, you know, onto your knob. So it's not sitting like this or like that or upside down or, you know, whatever it may be. Um, so you just kind of fiddle around with the, with the set nut in there um, and you can position it perfectly. So I've already got it positioned uh, in the correct orientation that it's gonna sit nice and, and straight. Uh, so let's get to installing this in the car and then we can see how it looks on there. But man, this thing is beautiful. All right guys, so I set the set screw in there to uh, the right the right uh, depth so it sits straight so basically um all you gotta do is make sure you know put, put it on the threads spin it on and it's gonna take some couple trial and errors to get this right i was sitting here for probably about you know five or ten minutes set messing with the set screw a little bit um uh, just because you know i wanted to make sure it was sitting perfectly perfectly straight and everything and uh, i finally got it to a point where it's absolutely perfect so um so yeah yeah i mean it's definitely a good height. I do have a short shifter on here. I have the Carpoy short shifter. Um, so, you know, throw is short. But, you know, since my arm is basically straight at the shifter now instead of on top, um, it's a much better feel when shifting. You know, it's, it's right in front of you as opposed to like you're kind of putting your hand on top and everything. Um, it feels nice and it doesn't feel too heavy, uh, but it feels nice and notchy, which is what I really, really like in a shifter. Um, there's still plenty of clearance for the uh, lock collar here to get into reverse. Um, so, you know, there's plenty of room. Sometimes these can interfere with how far this goes down with your lock collar and it won't be able to go in reverse. 
uh, but this has plenty of cl uh, clearance. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see how close, but there's there's definitely enough room for um, you know for everything, so it doesn't stop and you can get into uh, reverse just fine. But yeah, man, this feels really good. I love the feel of the Kali, the Code Kali. Uh, feels you know just feels nice and solid in your hand. The the, uh, the metal grip feels good in your hand and everything. And I love the little touch on top. Um, this is a little bit taller of a shifter than I'm used to. Um, so that's the only thing that's going to take some getting used to, I guess. Uh, but either way, I think it's a good position. Cause my hands literally going to grab right here, uh, as opposed to you know bringing it down on top of it. And um, so you can easily you know shift like that. Um, you know the the flat top is not going to affect that at all. I think it's actually a better feel than the knob. Because um, the knob, I, I've you know there's been numerous occasions where I've, I've slipped off uh, you know a round type of shift knob just because it's uh, they're so smooth and there's ways to. There's just ways for it to slip off and everything, but uh, with the piston style, I feel like it's a very firm grip. Um, and yeah, man, I really do like it. So a uh, huge shout out to Chris at WC Wave Works. Thanks for making the knob. Thanks for making such great pieces of work. Uh, this is, like I said, this is my second uh, knob that I have gotten by Chris. Uh, and each time it just amazes me how nice uh, his work is. So uh, if you guys have any questions, be sure to ask him down below. Uh, I'll put a link uh, to his website as well in the, in the, uh, in the description as well. Um, so if you are interested in picking something up. Uh, the only thing uh, I did mention in my other video is the wait time on these things are pretty long. Uh, this took about four or five weeks to get to me just because of how many orders he has. He gets so backed up. Uh, well, not even backed up. It just has so many orders to do that it's just it's insane. So that's sometimes just the price you have to pay for you know some something that's actually made by hand, um, and you know that's that's an actual piece of art. Uh, so you know I didn't mind waiting that long, um, but but yeah, that's the, I guess the only con to the whole uh, the, his knobs because you know take a little bit longer. But um, I, I can assure you it's definitely worth it. Uh, so be sure to check them out. You know, there's tons of different styles, different options, different metals, and different. Uh, choices you can choose from uh, he does make them for a whole bunch of other cars as well so be sure to check them out but yeah guys that's it for this video thanks for watching thanks for checking in uh, if you guys have any questions you know don't be afraid to ask them below and yeah guys catch you guys on the next one